Hello, it is day 15, and I wanted to talk about um, boundaries, setting boundaries. I'm not sure if I've talked about this before, um, but I wanted to talk about setting boundaries um, for yourself, mostly, um, because ultimately we know exactly what we need in our lives. Um, a lot of us, a lot of people, try to ignore feelings that come up. Um, you know, intense feelings because they're hard to deal with, but intense feelings generally lead to, or they're trying to bring notice to things in your life that are unstable or things in your life that have happened, that have affected you now, um, or things in your life that you know that you can't be around anymore. Um, so setting boundaries, I guess, with yourself, for yourself, without not without caring, but without feeling bad about the people around you. Like, so for instance, family is the hardest thing. Um, setting boundaries with family is really difficult for a lot of people. But if your mom or your dad is constantly berating you or constantly taking advantage of you, this is not from personal experience, but if they're doing something like that, um, you need to set a boundary because it's gonna be constantly pulling at you and constantly causing you stress. And you need to be able to stand up for yourself and say, hey, I can't talk to you right now. Or you're really hurting my feelings right now. Or when you, you know, when you write me, it makes me feel really anxious. And I don't appreciate it because I know that you want nothing to do with me. Or a ton of different things. Um, so I've been in that situation recently. And I've had a hard time setting the boundary for myself. And I notice it, it bringing me kind of back to this old, the old version of myself, um, you know, anxious and just uh, not wanting to eat well, not wanting to uh, work out, um, not very positive, like easily agitated. Um, and I've been in a really good place recently, you know, setting my intentions, moving towards the things that I want in my life. And I'm just realizing now that if I really want to solidify who I am and be solid in myself, I have to set those boundaries even if I think someone's going to be upset or if that means that someone, you know, doesn't love me anymore or that someone, you know, just wants something to do with me. Max, my cat is constantly annoying me when I, she doesn't want to be around me any other time except when I'm on the computer. Makes sense. Well, that's not true, but it's majority of the time when I'm on my computer, which is cute. Anyways, um, yeah, so in order to really be solid in who I am and really take advantage of this time for myself, I need to set boundaries, and it's really difficult. I can't worry about if someone's not going to love me anymore because someone not loving me does not matter. I mean, yeah, it might be disappointing, it might hurt, but being loved by somebody else does not is not who I am. That doesn't define who I am. Who I am, I love myself. You know, I enjoy spending time with myself. I am learning more and more every day how much I love myself and how much, how excited I am to be doing this journey and going on this path, you know, to Massachusetts and just, just through life in general by myself. Um, because I've never done anything alone. You know, I went directly from my parents' house to my ex, to this past ex, and that's it. Like, that's been the majority of my life. I've been in a relationship since I was 18 years old and have not experienced life as a young adult without somebody there to support me at all times. Um, so being able to now make decisions on my own, it's freaking hard, by the way. It is really hard to make decisions by myself without getting advice from people. But um, I still get advice from friends. But yeah, it's it's such an adventure, and I I need to I need to know that I can I can trust myself, so I don't need someone there just in case. Um, I can trust me, and I can set boundaries and say no, I'm not okay with this, um, and everything is gonna be okay. It's not gonna kill me. By saying that, it's actually probably gonna set me free. By saying that, so. Setting boundaries, trusting in yourself, 
um, because a lot of times the reason why we don't set boundaries is because we're afraid someone's going to get upset with us. But if we trust in ourselves and are solid in, in ourselves, someone getting upset with us is okay. Especially if it's for a reason like that. If it's if someone gets upset with you for setting a boundary to protect yourself, um, they're probably not somebody that you want to be around. Yeah. So, setting boundaries, day 15. I'll see you guys around. Bye.